Well, if Noel ever needs anywhere to stay to write some more songs, <laughs> my house is uh, always open. Now, time for the weather with Lily. Uh, Lily, we've had some pretty light winds all this week, um, but actually you've got some storm uh, data for us, don't you? Yeah, so it might seem a bit strange in summer to be talking about storms, but the reason is the UK Met Office actually track our storms over a yearly period and they start monitoring on the 1st of September. So tomorrow it's the last day of this particular cycle and I can tell you it was too. Now in terms of why we saw so many, Met Offices say it's quite variable year on year. So actually the year before we only had two storms, but one of the reasons could have been to do with the jet stream. It actually pushed up a lot of areas of low pressure that brought strong winds and they then turned into storms. Now in terms of what we'll see going forward as the climate changes and warms, it's not necessarily the case we'll see more storms but they could have more rainfall in association with them. We'll see wetter weather so their impacts could be more severe and as well as sea levels rise we could see more flooding so that's obviously quite relevant to us here in the yeah. Channel Islands. But Lily, away from storms and um, back to today's sunshine, you've had some great pictures and videos haven't you? I have, so I thought we'd get into the Friday spirit. So take a look at this video. Okay. He's got the right attitude, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. I thought we'd swap from that to a slightly more zen and oh. for sending those in, everybody. Let's get all the weather details now. Well, we had some bright weather earlier this morning and actually the sunny conditions stuck with us a bit longer than expected, but it is looking like it will cloud up later tonight and into tomorrow morning. So a bit of a cloudy start to the weekend. We've got the chance of the showers again, most likely if they do arrive, that will be tomorrow morning, but then things should be drying up. So some drier and brighter conditions to come for Sunday. That's the best day to plan any outdoor activities this weekend. But this is what we're up against this morning. So clear spells to begin. Then notice this weather front just edging close. So that is going to cause things to get gradually more cloudy overnight. We'll have light to moderate breeze coming from a northeasterly direction and the very small chance for shower tonight after midnight, minimum temperatures of around 16 and 17 degrees. So tomorrow morning could well be quite cloudy, actually cloudier than today, and that's when we do have the risk of some showers. They're not guaranteed, but they're likely to dry out if they do come by the afternoon, so some brighter conditions to end the day. Fairly breezy, winds are moderate force four coming from the northeast, and highs of 21 to 22 degrees. Let's get our times of high water then between 5.45 and 6.30, later on between 6 and 7 and the sea temperature is now at 19 degrees. So let's look in summary then at our whole outlook. A touch cloudy to begin this weekend, greatest risk of the showers first thing on Saturday. They may avoid us altogether if we're lucky and for the most part looking dry, particularly for the second part of the weekend on Sunday where we should see some more brightness too. Lighter winds as well, so feeling quite pleasant in the sunshine on Sunday with highs of 20 three degrees.